Good morning, folks. For hello from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, back with another fragrance. It's uh, from this time. It's from House of Gucci. Gucci actually, it's uh, mm, one of the houses that don't have that many solid fragrances these days. Okay, so you guys already must have known if you have been watching a lot of reviews. So this house, it's like sort of became sort of like a mediocre house uh, in terms of fragrances actually on the men's section. Women's section, they're doing really great. But uh, they have this line called Guilty. So Guilty line, I don't own uh, so many. I tried the whole Guilty line and the only one I really liked was this one. This Gucci Guilty Black. Okay, it says black in both sides. It's a very nice looking bottle and it's a very decent fragrance actually, to be honest. I really like it. It's somewhere in the ballpark of uh, Armani Code. Burberry, uh, Brit Rhythm, if you know those fragrances, bit of like night out, uh, but nothing absolutely mind blowing, but it's very decent fragrance. The smell of it, it's really, really nice. Okay, so I got this and I gave it to my dad because I don't use it that much. So he used a lot. So he really likes it. It's very gentlemanly, office friendly fragrance, but nothing on the, you know, over overboard or something. Okay, so the fragrance I'm going to show you today is the latest flanker from that line. And is it something different? Some many reviewers already talked about it, so I would like to just cover uh, the price, who is it for, good, bad, and uh, occasions and stuff like that. All right, so this is Gucci Guilty Absolute, very stunning looking bottle with the juice. And I will show you the presentation first of all. This fragrance actually comes in 90 ml. First thing, ouch, because uh, I am not a very big fan of 90 ml. Give us, you know, we are paying premium price, give us 100 ml. That's first thing. Second thing is, uh this is actually uh, my one of my rare uh, blind buys. Okay, I don't usually do blind buys, so I didn't know what to expect. I just took the risk. I trusted my guts. I really wanted it, you know. So the box is this very simple looking. Uh, it looks like a wood cardboard. That's sort of our feel. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about it much. See, so it's basically 90 ml EDP concentration. That's what you need to know. And this is the bottom. This is your back. These are made in UK. Okay. Uh, the thing is this fragrance I purchased from Perfume World, uh, they have, they had only one uh, big bottle, 90 ml bottle and they now have only, I think if I'm not mistaken, the couple of uh, smaller bottles, that is 50 ml or something like that, okay. So this is the bottle. Uh, the price for this actually is uh, pretty high because it's st still brand new, it's released of 2017, alright. And uh, Perfume for this is a very famous Alberto Moyas and creative director of Gucci at this present moment. Alejandro, Alejandro Michel, I guess I'm saying that properly. Okay, so yes, so this is the bottle. Uh, the price for this is uh, 105 US dollars at this present moment in Bangladesh for this size. Other one I think is somewhere around 80. So better look into the bigger bottle. Here's your sticker. Okay, and uh, uh, dust. Okay. Juice color is pretty nice. It looks like very woody, very dark, boozy, leathery. That sort of a theme, and that's what they're going for. Incensey and a little bit amber. So they, they, you can see the juice color looks pretty nice. The bottle looks all right. I mean, bottle design I'm not a very big fan of. I think they could have, could have done better, heavier bottle. It's not very heavy, but juice colors juice color makes it very classy, elegant looking. So the backstory of getting this is one of our uh, group members and a moderator in Good Smellers Bangladesh that's my group you guys know uh, there he actually was traveling through Malaysia and Indonesia and he was going through the airport the duty-free and then he tried this he was trying a couple of fragrances and he tried this and he knocked me in the group tagging me saying that bro I tried this you may need to look at this because you like darker fragrances you may you should buy this and I'm like okay I bought that this one or two great fragrances and I was like out of cash almost <laughs> the crazy thing is I ran and got this because of his recommendation there was no test or nothing and I got this absolutely so basically yeah absolutely absolute <laughs> dumb okay so yes Gucci guilty absolute EDP concentration uh, you know the release date is 2017 year so what are the notes on this okay this fragrance uh, consists of leather patchouli vetiver uh, golden wood I don't know what that is and cypress okay more or less the, those are the things are <laughs> you know like present in this fragrance who is it for what is it like is it a safe blind by worthy never this kind of fragrance never who is it for not for everyone very few people who have that sort of a nose they have been playing the game they have been battered they have been wounded and stuff 
and at this stage they are looking for something not pleasant they don't they are not looking for a sabaj they are not looking for something to like be a crowd pleaser they want to wear something because they have a complex nose and they are very mature in terms of the collection as well as their uh, you know shelf so at this present moment people who are let's say 30 40 plus yes i think age doesn't determine maturity but in many cases yes I, let, let's just say the age is like that uh, mature knows yes if you have gone through a lot of these designers and even if you're going to niche i think it's worth looking at okay and it's more on the men men side you know it's like more on a masculine side because it's i don't see it it's sweet or citrusy or anything playful clubbing those sort of things i just forget about it if you're thinking to get this like uh, it's going to be intense clubbing fragrance it's going to be noticed you know and people going to be like wow what are you wearing nothing like that and people often compare this with they said they get vibe of fahrenheit from this so kind of look like a similar theme isn't it like the bottom and this but so far to my nose i don't find anything similar to fahrenheit in this okay so gucci guilty um absolute right so what is smell like yeah i have it on my hand okay i'm going to say something very unpleasant okay and this is not going to be gucci is watching this not going not going to be happy but i have to say it as a consumer point of view like from a consumer point of view if people buy this and try this for the first time let's say this try this for the first time people in bangladesh you guys know one term right one product that is like if you antiseptics like sort of like if you have a cut so you wash it with that there is detol and there is savlon this smells like savlon right up to very very off putting if you're looking like if you're new sort of a collector or fragrance user this is going to turn you off you're like oh no 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 run away from this or let's get some some of this so i can kill the rats at home yeah yes that's that's the first thing you're going to notice if you are just not a fraghead okay if you're not a fraghead don't quote me don't attack me if you are just like a consumer or just user this is not for you okay you better look at there plenty of other invictus aqua savage uh, armani core perfume i can go all day but there hardly any good things i mean like any fragrances you know like this in the market they dare to release so kudos to gucci for coming up with this and i i cannot like really think of how alberto morias is releasing this you know he usually is the king for fresh like fresh fragrances right so surprise surprise um so yeah it's not a crowd pleaser it's not a unisex it's it definitely a not a all year round it's strictly for winter if you are uh, let's say uh, like if winter days you know colder days this is going to be really really good uh longevity from this it's uh, not mind blowing but it's it's decent i would say 7.5 out of 10 so far because i test it in my room when i make my room really cold with air conditioning right now at this present moment is the lowest temperature is lowest 16 highest fan so basically i'm getting a little bit cool my hands are freezing sort of so that kind of environment i'm testing this so yes that the opening thing for normal people normal nose it will smell like savlon okay but but if you are a collector if you are a fraghead it's going to smell very very masculine and intense and you will be like oh wow this is a you know like change of like you know just bring you like a the whole trend whatever is going on in the market it changes that something like what fahrenheit did what jerome intense did in the market once people are doing something you know same 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 or same or they don't do that so yeah the one thing first thing you'll notice is that the bottle looks kind of empty because that's thanks to the 90 ml if it was 100 ml i think it would be full, fully full that's not nice uh the notes from this is definitely the prominent note i definitely pick, pick up our leather vetiver and i don't know this other one cypress the cypress note i haven't smell in that many fragrances okay to be honest and i think it has something to do with that but it doesn't smell like whole lot like fahrenheit what it really smells like reminding me of is ancre noir this is the one i have uh, uh, ala extreme the extreme version this compared to this they are kind of same family but believe it or not scary thing is this smells much more safer when you see this juice when you smell it okay it smells oh, it smells much more safer and more pleasant and easy wear with the taxi and everything you don't have to think much if you compare this to so now you have some idea this is a daring fragrance you have to have balls to wear this i still don't understand it <laughs> i still think i'm not mature enough to wear this and probably i'll try this extensively in the winter so for initial impression performance it's 
okay, 7.5 out of 10 projection, it will project a little bit for two hours. That's what my uh, experimentation showed me. For two hours, it's very strong. Then it comes close to your skin. Then it becomes this nice sort of vetiver scent and it goes towards the Lali country noir, that side. But the leather prominently stays. Okay, let me show you the spray a little bit actually. Yeah. Sorry, where's the spray? Where's my, where are my manners? Okay, two sprays. Cap fits, you can pick it up, no problem. Yeah, okay, a little bit alcohol blast up top. It's not the most smoothest opening, very rugged. So imagine this uh, purpose, I think so far for initial impression, leather jacket, just like Fahrenheit, but there's no florals, there's no sweetness to play with. There is no, um, let's say, juiciness. This is very dry. I think I'll say Imitsu, uh, simply put, Fre simply put, Sen, my bro. He said this is very dry, and I agree. Maybe Gucci Purom one, Gucci Purom. I never smelled it. Maybe it's in the same class. So it's a woody, leathery, vetiver-based scent, and it's not built for everyone. It's for mature noses, and for people who are just collecting. You are just a collector, and you want something sophisticated, which not many people wear. It will be very rare. It doesn't smell like 10 other fragrances out there. Cold weather, daytime, nighttime, you can pull it off. Uh, you can, uh, where else? If you, if, let's say, imagine you're in the outdoors in the winter time, you're trying to cut some, you know, like a chunk of wood, and you're just trying to get some, you know, uh, logging. I don't know, I think you call it logging, right? So if you're cutting those wood in the middle, you get the fresh wood scent. Yeah, I think so. If you're with, with an axe and you're wearing this hat, and then you're, you're just working in outdoors. That will remind you a lot of dirt out there, a bit muddy. Yeah, it will remind you of that. Leather belt, serious cowboy's leather belt. Yeah, if you're a cowboy, yeah, I can think of it. If you're working with a lot of animals and stuff, you, and then you're working in the, you know, those uh, factories where they have leather products, it will remind you of that. Very nice leather smell of it. So not, what kind of leather? Hmm. The leather, this reminds me of is this, Leather, sometimes you know those leather wrapped uh, diaries, they have this cover on the both side, they have the leather wrapping, yeah, that kind of leather, not a brand new car exterior, I don't get that feel, because it has a dirtiness behind it, you know, like that the Savlon feel I was telling you, Savlon is basically like very strong smell, so yeah, <laughs> so don't let that turn you off, give it a try, definitely never blind by this, okay, I'm, am I regretting this, no? Never, never. I'm a collector. I, I love to keep any fragrance as long as they are not boring or they are too simple or uh, they are uh, unwearable. You know, sometimes they are so skanky that you cannot wear it anytime. Even colder weather, you cannot wear it. I think this is pretty nice. I smell pretty stinky ones, but this is not stinky. So after like 15, 10 minutes, it will go to that. You'll start going and you'll see the concentration. You see that shiny my hand it looks. This is because of the fragrance oil. So concentration is good, EDP. I think it will, the longevity would be really, really good. So far, 7.5 I got, but I think it will be more like 8.5 in winter. Yeah. Um, if you're sitting by the bar, smoking a cigar by yourself, maybe you're a mafia don. I'm just giving you ideas. This is not for dates. This is not for mm, clubbing. It's not for, uh, let's say, close encounters. Uh, you, you're going to smell like a serial killer. Trust me. Maybe Dexter could wear this. Nighttime Miami, you know, <laughs> dark dark defender but i am i am fan of the dry down opening not so much i don't like that strong so far no nope. i will be honest i don't like the opening but the dry down of this is plenty nice it, it becomes very 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 sophisticated okay and you really have to have that nose you really have to have the taste and you have to have the imagination what this actually is trying to do so yes if you're looking for something for night wear even winter easy pickup this is not an easy pickup you have to grow onto this fragrance you know this fragrance has to grow on you so definitely try maybe try it take a sample somewhere buy a decan somewhere and then try it on your skin see what happens in the winter all right so absolutely uh, this is this is different take on the whole guilty line and i agree uh, this is this is actually like what i was hoping this fragrance would give me gentlemen only absolute this kind of darkness would be in this but not so far it's, it's not that dark i like my dark fragrances so this is Probably gonna be my favorite, but not yet. But the dry down, pretty damn nice. And it's for people who have that. You know, like I wanna collect something different than others, okay? So ultimate remark, longevity, 7.5. Projection, uh, seven. <clears throat> smell of it, um, for my nose, it's nine. But normal people smell this, five out of 10. That's what I can see, it's not a crowd pleaser. Uh, 
unisex no occasion versatility year wise very poor because cannot wear this in the hot summer days okay uh, five and uh, is it original yes in a way it has its own scent okay so yeah original factor is there you can you, you can give it a try okay or uh, ultimate remark on my initial thought I'm gonna give this like a 7.5 because I'm testing this in the heat on the hot summer day maybe in the winter I'll get much better but I like the smell of it a lot it's a it's a toughie <laughs> it's gonna take some time to get used to but absolutely no regrets buying it amazing looking bottle like once again Gucci guilty absolute not for everyone but those who love Encre Noir that kind of a DNA a little bit of Fahrenheit the leather but without the sweetness and florals you can look into this thank you guys for watching thanks for listening and I'll talk to you soon again with some new fragrances have a nice day bye bye